The e-learning center at Prince Sultan University presents this video tutorial on how customize your Moodle dashboard. The dashboard is a customizable page for providing users with details of their progress and upcoming deadlines. After login into Moodle go to the dashboard and click customize this page. On the left side of the page, click add a block. In the menu that appears, select course overview. The course overview is displayed on a student's dashboard and displays three drop-downs. An option to sort by all, current, future, in progress, starred or hidden courses. An option to display courses by last accessed or by course name. An option to display course by cards, summary or list view. How to make activities and resources display in the timeline block by clicking on add block. Select timeline. The timeline block provides an overview of deadlines and is displayed by default on the dashboard. Deadlines may be sorted by overdue or upcoming due dates, 1, or by due dates per course, 2. In the same way, we can add block private files. Each user has a private files area for uploading and managing a set of files. The recently accessed items block appears by default in new sites on the dashboard to display the activities and resources which an enrolled user has most recently accessed, allowing them to quickly find where they were previously on the site. The block may be positioned in the center, or to one side manually. By clicking Add Block and selecting Latest Announcement, we can include it here. Recent posts made in the Announcements forum are displayed in the Latest Announcement block. After adding blocks, click the gear icon in the block header to configure it. Depending upon the context and user permissions, this area determines where this block will appear. Default region, usually a right column or content option. Default weight, where in the column do you want it to appear if there are other blocks in that column. Minus 10 will put it at the top, 10 will put it at the bottom. A zero is neutral. On this page, visible, yes or no. Region, here you can override the column preference on this page. Wait, here you can override the default setting on this page. Click the Save Change buttons. On the dashboard page, you can remove unwanted blocks by clicking the gear icon and deleting the block. To confirm deletion, click Yes. The dashboard page now provides quick access to your courses and private information. We hope this tutorial was helpful enough, and if you need any further support, do contact us through the following mediums.